Hello, hello, and welcome, my Gemini Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your five-card draw. What do I need, read for this new moon to full moon in October 2021? I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998, author of Words of Grace from a Professional Witch, available on Kindle. Link in the description box, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lyons, but you can call me Mal. Hi. <laughs> hey, my gems. Hope you're not just outrageous or truly outrageous, but truly, truly, truly outrageous, and let's find out what's going on for you. If you are new to the channel of five card draws, just one card from five different decks getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific timeline, in this case a waxing moon timeline, from uh, the new moon in Libra to the full moon in Aries, but the moment it goes full it goes void of course, and that's an, ast an astrologer thing. In times, in terms of timing magic it's tricky, but if you want to, you know, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I like to to watch this stuff, but we got a lot going on in between of those two dates. So let's look at this timeline. If you're into the astrology, uh, I, I think you'll dig it. Like I said, uh, new moon on Wednesday, October 6th in Libra, 7.05 a.m. Lovely. You, you know, you can just hit that new moon first thing in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. I'm in New York, right? And really just plant that seed, right? And, and send it forth uh, to manifest at a full moon. Uh, and then that same day, Pluto goes direct to 29 p.m. that Wednesday. That's going to be interesting. Uh, and then Mercury uh, goes direct on the 18th, which is a uh, Monday in October, which is good, right? So, but still there's that wiggle waggle time afterwards where it's still adjusting or whatever, uh, then leading us to that full moon, as I said, on the 20th. Uh, uh, void, of course, and uh, full moon at the same time, 10.37 p.m. So you still have that whole day to get it before uh, it goes uh, void. And Aries, really good for personal magic, first house stuff. So, what you cast for here, you intend for it, the new waxes uh, to full. So these readings, these five decks represent fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. The five magical elements are the five interior powers in the body, right? Bring yourself into alignment to put something into intention, right? Your, create, your creativity, all that jazz. So it's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs to get more information about perhaps what we're about to lay out on the table or maybe another situation that the divine kind of says you need to know about this. That's the idea of these reads. It's not what do I want to know, it's what do I need to know, right? Uh, otherwise, if you want a private reading with me, there's a, a video in the description box booking a reading with Mel. It explains not just how to do it, but what goes down before, during, and after. And uh, I guess that's about it, except to uh, say both feet on the floor. If you can, focus on your breath, if you will. I will do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can from these uh, five decks of cards from the divine through them, through YouTube, to you, my beloved gems. Uh, and all the decks are uh, listed in the bottom of the description box if you want to look into those as well. Here we go. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm, here we go. We're going to start with the element of fire represented by the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. We love her name. Although I think that was Irish, I just did. Whatever, it definitely sounds like a Scottish name. Uh, the element of fire, the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. One more nice deep breath. Ooh, okay, here we go. I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism. A big burst of fire on this. Uh, for the Gemini Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, watching this video, receiving this reading. What is it that they yearn for? They yearn for their heart's desire to plant the seed at new, to manifest at full October 2021. Uh, dream, sweet, sleep, Deep. Why is that hard to say? It doesn't even really, well, that rhymes a little. Uh, dream sweet, right? Like sweet dreams. Uh, sleep deep. <laughs> dream sweet, sleep deep. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, sleep that's deep and lasts till morn. Wondrous dreams 
for Days Reborn. Now, just on an intuitive level there, it's like, yeah, rest and sleep, and I get that. I'm, I'm on my own. I'm so off the timeline when it comes to, uh, to sleep patterns. I sleep when I, I'm supposed to sleep, and I work when I'm supposed to work. But there's that also that thing of dreams, like, you know, your aspirations, your heart desires, that kind of thing, too, and that when we work too hard to make them happen, right, it can knock us off balance that way. So what is your dream? Right, not because it's it. It's not just about nocturnal processing of subconscious information, right? I don't think that's all that. That's what it's saying about you know. It's like what's your sleep number? I don't think it's about. I don't think it's about that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see for the air signs. Uh, what's your element of earth? We're going to use the crystal oracle, Tony Carmine Salerno to help you manifest this into physical form. The fire needs fuel. Breathe. Hmm, as I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel powers of the Earth, uh, the direction of the North, the Archangel of Lions, my beloved Ariel, what is the Crystal Oracle for this Gemini Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? I'm watching this video, receiving this reading uh, to help them manifest this. Uh, the, we'll read it from the bookie book, but if it's a stone, they have great. If it's stone they don't have but want great if they can get it wonderful uh, but for dream sweet sleep deep what's the 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 mineral aspect of this to help them manifest this from this full to new gold with quartz now Taurus got this because I actually read gold in the book first and then I realized I wasn't reading gold with quartz, which was the next page. So, any Taurus placements there? You got uh, a, a little symbiotic vibaruni going there. Uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Maybe gold with quartz. Something's going on outside. Your keywords, physically grounding, right? That makes sense a lot with the gold. Uh, abstract ideas and inspiration. So, you know, <laughs> right? what are your dreams? Are they abstract? Dreams can be, right? Both the, the, the nocturnal, you know, REM sleep and all that stuff, the processing that goes on. But of course, we also know dreams to have a, sometimes a prophetic quality, tapping into a future timeline, because in the fourth dimension, things get a little wibbly-wobbly, <laughs> timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly in that, right? It's not so much a prediction, you're just seeing what happens, which I guess is the same thing. I don't know. We make a bigger deal out of it than we need to. So with that abstract, I'm still going to say, if that is like um life purpose sort of dream, like, oh, I had a dream, a fantasy, <laughs> to help me cope with everything. Uh, so uh, several wonderful ideas and inspirations are filtering uh, into your physical reality. Makes sense for Gemini. Uh, these ideas and inspirations which stem from your soul, so they're actually coming from your soul up, but it, our experience of it is kind of channeling it down. Uh, the, these ideas uh, and inspirations which stem from your soul will help you manifest many of the things your heart has for so long desired. What is it? A wish is a dream your heart makes. Uh, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. It's never my favorite movie. Uh, over the coming days, your intuition will be strong, and you will have a greater sense of the universal spirit that flows through all things, including the experiences and the things that you want, right? Uh, through this, a newfound sense of joy and wonder emerges. Uh, one which transforms your life. Give thanks for this blessing and allow it to inspire and illuminate your heart and mind. Your ideas and inspirations are divinely guided, so trust them. I think that's pretty much in support. Your fire and your earth seem very uh, in alignment. Sure, get your rest, but stay physically grounded, right? Do the yoga, do the stretching, do the breath work, do what you gotta do, right? You do you to ground yourself, but it is saying, and, and that makes sense, the more grounded we are in our waking times, right? The more, and that really means being in the present moment. I mean, you can drill your energy down through your feet into the core of the planet if you want, but still, if you're untethered, right? So, um, because you're, you're going to be taking these higher inspirations and bringing them into form, which is really perfect for 
a waxing moon raid, a spell kit raid, one of my clients called it and it really stuck on them. I said it to people, they're like, that's exactly what those are. So uh, let's get your element of air healing with the angels oracle. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm, okay, because now we're going to the east. As I call upon the angels and archangels of air, the sign of Gemini, and the powers of the east, please, what is the perfect healing angels for them to think about, to read about, to pray to, to meditate on, some aspect of the element of air, the mind, to feed the fire of those a dream, sweet, sleep, deep intentions there that they can then bring into physical form with that golden quartz vibe going on for them. Who should they call upon? Who do they need to work with this new to full to get this done? Study. <laughs> it's your thing. I mean, look, I, I, I'm a horrible student, but I'm a brilliant teacher. I'm, I'm self-taught. I'm autodidact. Even like, you know, I, I, I was a class clown out in Kitchen Tell, right? But I mean, doesn't mean I don't study. I studied Tarot at age 12, right? You know, it's like, you couldn't stop me. Little Virgo child, right? You know, I studied dance. I studied, ta I can tap dance, right? All I have to give me the sound of the step you want me to do, my body will replicate it at 53. I know I don't look at things. Uh, right? So to study here, to, for you to educate yourself, but to get that that's, yes, book learning is a part of that. Um, but Geminis are good at that. They're like a bee that goes from flower to flower to flower to flower, gathering pollen, brings it back to the hive, makes it into something completely different and unique, right? Uh, and hopefully healing. Gold with quartz. I like this. But uh, what would the healing angels of study do? This could be about studying about your own healing. Certainly it's a little on the nose. But the healing angels of study would bring you what you need to do this, right? It's like here. It happens to me all the time. Like all of a sudden, like <laughs> I started listening to uh, audiobooks on YouTube for Oscar Wilde, like The Importance of Being Earnest, which is a scream and a picture of Dorian Gray. I was like, okay, this is my, you know, my recreational time. And it's like, no, I was totally like learning things, having past life flashbacks, left, right, and center. It was great, <laughs> right? So you do you, but call in the healing angel. Say, all right, show me what you want me to study. Not just learn. We're always learning. Study. That implies intent. Hmm. Maybe it's studying your dream life, right? Could be any of that. Element of water. What are you feeling? What's the, the, the emotional element here? Let's ask the higher selves. Breathe. Hmm. That does feel nice. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved fifth dimension and above eighth chakra and above what is the whisper of love the piece of information inspiration insight which seems to be really where this is going it's a lot of element of air and god for that gold with quartz to ground it in the element of earth higher selves so what is the element of water the emotion that puts the energy in motion to get this intention from new to full october 2021 look to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize. That's a very, very interesting. This card does not come up that often. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful card. Uh, but the thing is, it's like you. this strength might very well be the inner strength. You know? <laughs> it's not about picking up the coffee table and throwing it across the room at, at, uh, at Christmas. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not that kind of strength. This is emotional strength. This is about your ability to endure. Uh, to have the heart, the courage to take uh, what, uh, to do what it takes, uh, to take maybe something that is a lifelong dream and start bringing it into a uh, physical reality here. Let's just last card down. Let's get all these uh, puzzle pieces uh, on the table. The Matt Kahn healing mantra deck, the element of spirit to charge it, right? So you got your fire, your earth, your air, your water. Uh, and uh, this is going to give you a piece of the puzzle to charge it. So you can cast for it, intend for it, write a check, you know, whatever it is you do. Everybody's got their own art with uh, new moons, hopefully. Uh, eclectic that I am, I certainly do. Uh, so this would be to charge it and as well to then feed it over uh, the 14 day period from October uh, 6th to the 20th. Please take a nice deep breath. I want to go really high on this. 
was a call upon the ascended masters, not just of the uh, uh, the general assembly, but of the divine plan, right? Because this could be about uh, someone's heart's desires, things that they really, really are written like they can't get rid of them. It's written in their heart. It's part of the divine plan. Please, beloved ones, you who've done this already, <laughs> this is what your masters. One card in clarity for the Gemini Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the perfect healing mantra to help them do this, right? Dream sweet, sleep deep, sleep that's deep, and last till morn. Uh, wondrous dreams for days reborn with this golden quartz, taking those very dreams literal and or aspirational hearts desire stuff there and bringing it in to physical form grounding it stuff is coming their way for them to be very very intuitive well however look to their inner strength you're stronger than you realize could be strength of intuition could be the ability to act on intuition but certainly to call upon those healing angels of study to really get what it is that you need to see, you need to learn, you need to alchemize from knowledge into wisdom through experience. With this element now of spirit complete, the timeline here for the Gemini Collectives, this new to full, rewriting the subconscious. The more often I feel good, the less often I will feel bad. So good for a Gemini. Re rewriting the subconscious. I mean, I've been doing that where I mean NLP, tapping, affirmation, shadow work. I'm not going to say this is the only way to do it, but I will say it's a good mantra for an air sign. You just have to memorize it to the point. I'm going to read it from the bookie book. But this is, when you rewrite the subconscious, you have more access to, you, to your inner strength. So I often talk about alchemy, like instead of pieces of lead in your energy system, which inhibit and uh, insulate energy, won't let it move, it alchemizes it to gold, a very high conductor, and you've got gold and quartz. So let's just run with that for right now. You do you. Rewriting the subconscious, I opened up to the page. Ooh, uh, the more... I embrace feeling good, the less often I will feel bad. When the subconscious is rewritten, you are able to feel good on a regular basis regardless of the way life unfolds. And it's true, but it's more about internal reality than external reality. And I feel like that's what your water card is saying here, right? Look to your inner strength. In there, you are stronger than you realize. Uh, in rewriting the subconscious, you reverse the gravitational pull of conditioning. Hello, can we just stick a pin in that? I will reread that. To reverse the gravitational pull of conditioning. Now think, what's the conditioning? It's all the mental stuff, right? It's all the stuff we picked up vibrationally from our families of origin, and not just them, this school, the conditioning we go through. And, you know, learning how to walk is conditioning too, riding a bike, you know, learning a song, all of that's conditioning. But the gravitational pull, I think that would concern a Gemini who likes to fly, right? In uh, rewriting the subconscious, you reverse the gravitational pull of conditioning to become more familiar with the virtues of goodness, meaning feeling goodness, not necessarily Pollyanna goodness. Sometimes that's not... Feel well, Pollyanna, she was pretty fucking powerful, actually. Uh, as goodness becomes more known, the opposite vibration of negativity can become a less frequent visitor within your reality. So it's not saying, yes, just feel good all the time and only good things will happen. <laughs> that secret didn't really play out, that secret. Uh, this mantra is ideal for relieving guilt, releasing shame, and finding joy in new beginnings, which I think, uh, certainly in terms of oh, uh, a new moon read, that makes sense. It's a lovely mantra. I've done all the mantras in this deck. I've had this deck since December 2019. I'm very familiar with these mantras and what they do in my energy field. I highly recommend them. Let me give you a blessing, if you would. Please take a nice deep breath. As I call upon the collective pantheons who have guided this reading, please. May the Gemini collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading, be blessed with all that they need this new moon in Libra to full in Aries, then a void, of course, that they may rewrite their subconscious because the more they embrace feeling good, the less often they will feel bad. And so they are to look to that as 
an avenue to their inner power because they are stronger than they realize and to make it a bit of a study by calling in the healing angels of study to help them study in healthy ways work uh, with this golden quartz maybe studying exactly what they need to do to tune to their intuition to ground these ideas these inspirations these visions these creativities into physical form that have to do with their heart's desires so making this all one thing so that uh, they can dream sweet and sleep deep sleep that's deep and lasts till morn wondrous dreams for days reborn for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so let it be and so it is it's a lovely read right no shadow work <laughs> right right no like uh face your fears it just everybody's been getting those but it's really really nice to see my truly truly outrageous gems and again this is one timeline of many that you will experience over any two-week period let alone a new to, new to false so if you want to book me for a reading you know how to do that bit in the description box if you want to read my book if you like me you'll love my book it's in my voice it's a book of prayer it's a book of spiritual practice it's in chakra chapters i think you'll dig it and you can certainly go preview it for free if you like link in the below z what was otherwise wishing you all uh, the very best and the very blessed of this new to full moon in october 2021 my beloved gemini's hail synergy farewell and blessed blessed be